A lot of people want to move to Canada for a better future. But what could be the main reason? Is it because of the beautiful sceneries? Clean environment? Good public transportation? Or is it because of these cute polar bears? Or maybe you like the cold weather and the snow? Whatever your reason is, it's all valid. So let's find out some of the benefits you can get here in Canada. Hi everyone! So for today's vlog, I'm going to share the different benefits of being a permanent resident here in Canada. Actually, being a permanent resident is almost the same as being a citizen. The only difference is your right to vote. And if you want to apply for certain job positions in the government, you have to be a citizen. And watch out for our future vlogs because we're also going to share how to apply for a citizenship. Okay, so let's talk about the different benefits of being a permanent resident here. First one is healthcare. As we all know, Canada is one of the best free healthcare provider in the world. Technically, it's not free because it comes from the taxes that we pay. Also, there are certain procedures that are not covered. One example is the prescription drugs, uh, home care or long-term care, dental or vision care. The ambulance is also not covered. The rest, it's all free. Any minor or major operation, any consultations to specialists. If you're also working, almost all the employers po is nagbibigay naman sila ng healthcare insurance wherein covered nila yung dental and vision. Depende po sa plan na ibibigay nila sa inyo. You also have the option to opt in to buy your personal insurance and there are different plans that you can choose from. Although the healthcare is free here, sometimes it can take a while for you to book an appointment. For example, your family doctor advised you or referred you to a specialist for a certain minor operation. You have to wait for as long as one to two months before it can be scheduled because there is a long wait. But when it comes to emergency procedures or any emergency, they can definitely accommodate you. And all in all, okay naman po yung mga facilities dito and the hospitals are using advanced technologies. So I'm good with the way that they provide the healthcare here. So for me, it's really a good benefit because it will really help you. Next is education is free here. Nung nasa Pilipinas po ako, lagi mong nababalitaan na libre ang schooling sa Canada, maganda sa Canada kasi free nga yung healthcare, free education. Ang free lang po dito is up to high school only and it is provided on Canadian public schools. And then after that, if you want to go to college, you must pay for your own tuition and mahal po ang mag-college dito sa Canada. Depende po sa course na kukunin nyo, ang per sem dito is nag-range between 10,000 Canadian dollars up to 15,000 Canadian dollars. Kaya karamihan sa mga nagka-college dito, they're doing part-time jobs to sustain the schooling. If you are not a permanent resident here, you will be considered as an international student and doble po yung tuition fee. Kaya karamihan po sa mga parents dito, habang bata pa yung mga kids nila, Nag-invest na sila sa tinatawag na RESP or the Registered Education Savings Plan. So you can save up for your kids' college tuition. Meron din pong ino-offer ang government ng mga student loans or other grants. And next one is the CCB or the Canada Child Benefit. So the CCB is a tax-free monthly payment made to eligible families to help with the cost of raising children under 18 years of age. Mayroong ibibigay sa inyo yung government per child. And nakadepende din po yan sa household income ninyo. So the more na mas malaki sa inyo ninyo, mas maliit yung makukuha yung benefit per child. Next po is yung employment insurance or EI. Every sahod may kinakaltas na certain amount depende sa take-home pay mo. Ito pong EI is a benefit na ibibigay sa ng government if in case kunwari na na-layoff ka sa work mo, bibigyan ka ng monthly allowance ng government until makakuha ka ng panibagong work. But there are certain prerequisites para makapag-qualify ka. Like for example, kailangan nakapag-contribute ka ng at least 420 insurable employment hours in the last 52 weeks. If nag-resign ka, hindi ka po makakapag-claim. And yung amount na makukuha mo, nakadepende po sa contributions na ginawa mo. Next is the maternity and parental benefit. So you can be on a maternity leave for 12 months up to a maximum of 18 months. And may salary ka pa rin pong makukuha, but it will only be 55% of your salary. So not bad na rin kasi 
may nakukuha ka pa rin kahit hindi ka nag-work. May ibang company po na nagbibigay ng extra amount on top of the government benefit na ibibigay sa'yo. Aside from that, the fathers can also benefit from it. They can utilize the parental benefit where they can be on paternity leave up to a maximum of 40 weeks and paid in po yun, and the calculation will be based on your salary then. Next is the CPP or the Canada Pension Plan. Ito po yung makukuha yung benefit sa government once na mag-retire kayo. Ito po yung binabawa sa inyong salary din. So, the computation will be based sa number of years na nag-work kayo dito sa Canada and the amount na na-contribute ninyo. Currently, according to the Canada website, ang monthly average Canada Pension Plan benefit is $619. The maximum amount that you could get will be around $1,200. But in order for you to receive the maximum pension benefit, you must be working for at least 39 years out of the 47 years from the age of 18 up to 65 years old. So kung isipin nyo, medyo maliit po yung makukuhang pension dito. That's why there are other plans na ina-offer yung government such as the RRSP or the Registered Retirement Savings Plan wherein you can contribute here para magamit ninyo upon retirement. It will also be an additional help aside sa pension na makukuha ninyo. Also, meron din pong tinatawag na OAS dito na Old Age Security. So, aside from the pension, bibigyan din po kayo ng OAS ng government. It's also a monthly pension payment that you can get if you are 65 years old or older. So, yung AAS po is an extra pension payment na ibibigay sa inyo ng government if konti lang yung pension na nakukuha ninyo. And aside from all those benefits that I shared, being a permanent resident allows you to start your own business here. So all in all, masasabi ko na secured yung future ninyo dito sa Canada, especially when it comes to health. Kasi yun talaga yung pinaka-importante since almost all the procedures here are free. So malaking tulong po talaga yun kasi mahal po talaga yung anything related to your health. I am grateful that this kind of benefits exist. Although it's not perfect, it's really a good help and assistance. So talagang mafeel mo na yung kinakalta sa inyong tax na may napupuntahan talaga siya. And you know you are secured especially when you grow old. So hopefully, nabigyan ko po kayo ng idea kung ano-ano yung mga benefits dito sa Canada once you become a permanent resident. And watch out for our future vlogs as we share our experience on how to apply to become a citizen. Thank you and see you in the next vlog. Bye!